To claim the right of being a top-of-the-line transceiver, it is necessary to have the absolute best performance and features. However, the requirements for a top-of-the-line HF transceiver are essential elements of performance, beginning with receiver anti-distortion performance. Then, and only then, is a radio considered a real high-performance machine. To those amateur users who share this concept and value, ICOM proudly unveils the long-awaited HF transceiver with unparalleled receiver performance, the IC7700. The radio for those who appreciate only the best. More than 110 dB dynamic range. More than plus 40 dBm IP3. More than plus 110 dBm IP2 in the HF bands. For those who obtain the IC7700, they will know they have the most powerful receiver performance available. The sound of the HF world you thought was normal will start changing. Let's take a closer look at the IC7700's receiver. To eliminate as much distortion as possible, the use of semiconductors has been reduced to the absolute minimum in the high amplitude switching circuit. The IC7700 also uses large coil condensers in the filter structure. Mechanical relays and large troidal conductors, which are resistant to magnetic saturation, are also used to prevent distortion before the input of the bandpass filter and provide superior linearity. The Digicel function rejects unwanted suppression by out-of-pass band interference at the primary stage of signal processing. Within the HF bands, it automatically tracks the intended signal at a minimum of 2 kHz steps, keeping the preselector's bandwidth centered on the operating frequency. The Digicel has a sharp pointed, very narrow peak characteristic in the pass band, and together with the band pass filter, greatly attenuates out of the pass band. This combination reduces second, third, and even higher order IMD components immensely. The center frequency of the pre-selector is manually adjustable from the Digicel tuning knob on the front panel. The IC7700 has a total of four pre-amplifiers, two for the HF bands and two for the 50 MHz band. The purpose of pre-amplifiers is to improve receiver sensitivity for the pursuit of higher gain and a better noise figure. The IC7700 employs a noiseless feedback design with push-pull amplifiers. Using feedback transformers, the pre-amplifiers provide a high IP3 while keeping a low noise figure. The Mixer Element SD5400 used in the IC7700 applies a 16-volt peak-to-peak voltage to the LO signal. ICOM's wideband power amplifier technical know-how is used in this mixer to generate such a high-level LO signal. Using such advanced technology, the IC7700 achieves a staggering IP3 figure of more than plus 40 dBm. The IC7700 employs three roofing filters of 15, 6 and 3 kHz before the first amplifier. 
ICOM ordered special customized high specification devices to improve IMD and achieve better impedance characteristics. As a result, the 3 kHz roofing filter provides approximately 134 dB of blocking dynamic range and allows you to pull out a weak signal while blocking strong adjacent signals. The image rejection mixer for the second stage rejects image spurious through IF processing. In conjunction with the roofing filters, rejection characteristics of more than 100 dB can be realized. The result of the stable operation of the analog image rejection mixer makes it possible to design a simplified receiver circuit and improve the distortion-free performance of the receiver. To bring out the absolute best performance of the DSP unit, the accuracy of the analog digital converter is the key engineering point. The IC7700 uses a low noise floor and high dynamic range 24-bit analog digital converter. That means the analog digital converter can handle anything from weak to strong powerful signals and accurately delivers the digital signal to the DSP unit. This means the highly pre-processed signal is sent to the 32-bit floating point DSP unit in the best condition possible and allows high-grade digital processing to be obtained. The IC7700 has two automatic gain control loops. The first AGC loop prevents the saturation of the first IF amplifier from strong signals out of the bandpass filter bandwidth and improves the dynamic range against adjacent signals. The second AGC loop detects the AGC voltage at the digital IF filter output which only passes the intended signal. The frequency control of these circuits is done by the high stability oven controlled crystal oscillator unit. This OCXO unit has plus or minus 0.05 ppm high stability on the basis of temperature. That means that within the specified temperature range, the frequency will deviate only 5 Hz out of every 100 million Hz. This specification is equivalent to that of specialized measuring equipment five or ten times the price of the IC7700. We will now tell you about the power amplifiers that allow full power continuous operation. The power amplifiers of the IC7700 use a push-pull final with two industry-leading devices which have proven reliability for use in ultra-professional communications. These devices generate a stable 200 watts of output power from HF to 54 MHz. In addition to the large heat sink, the quad fan cooling system provides the required air cooling allowing you 200 watts full power, full duty operation in all bands, all the time. The IC7700 leaves the competition in the dust when it comes to features. For example, the LCD display, response time, color, resolution, visibility, the IC7700's display has been examined for all aspects and an active matrix 7-inch TFT color display was selected for the IC7700. Various operating information is visually shown on the display. When it comes to transceiver displays, ICOM is the benchmark. Because of the high-resolution LCD display, Reproduction of the analog-like needle meter on the display is so good, you will not notice it is virtual. The digital IF filter of the IC7700 blocks out signals out of the pass band and keeps the in-band signal free of any distortion or depletion in quality. 
In addition, sharp and soft filter shapes are selectable. You get the signal reproduction you like to hear. As mentioned earlier, the digital twin pass band tuning function is useful for narrowing the IF pass band and escaping unwanted interference. Another weapon against interference is the IF shift function that allows you to shift or move the IF pass band so you can keep on the intended signal. The noise reduction function utilizes the amazingly high processing speed of the 32-bit floating point DSP unit for calculating complicated high-level algorithms to distinguish signal components from noise instantly. The noise reduction level is adjustable with the noise reduction knob. The manual notch filter controlled by the DSP unit has extremely sharp characteristics and provides more than 70 dB of attenuation. The notch filter width is selectable from three types, allowing you to select the suitable filter width depending on the operating mode and band. It eliminates persistent beat tones without affecting the AGC loop function. With the dedicated DSP unit for the Spectrum Scope, the IC7700 achieves 80 dB of dynamic range at the signal input level. It also improves the scope response time and signal resolution, so that it is possible to accurately tune the intended signal as you see it on the Spectrum Scope screen. The IC7700 has a built-in modulator and demodulator for RTTY and PSK31 modes. By simply connecting a USB keyboard, you can immediately get on with enjoying these modes. In addition, the IC7700 has these industry-leading features as well. Two USB ports on the front panel, allowing you to easily connect a USB-type keyboard or USB memory stick to save transceiver settings, update firmware, or transfer settings to other IC7700s. High-speed automatic antenna tuner covering HF to 50 MHz bands. Digital voice recorder with superb sound quality. A noise blanker that works. Set the attenuation level and noise width to cancel pulse type noise for good. Needless to say, these functions are guaranteed best in the industry. The IC7700, taking the excitement of the chase to new heights. <laughs>